hello and welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking onto this video so guys in my previous video i showed you how to i mean part one of uh, the process of uh, making rope the process of making ropes using sisal so in my previous video i showed you to kafika mali kwai machine and uh this is how it looks like. This is the machine. Yenye tunatumia kutoa maganda ya ya sisal so that we remain with the fiber. So inafunguliwa hivyo unaweka sisal and then you close it and unavruta you pull the sisal alafu hiyo maganda yake inatoka. So guys before that what normally happens huwa um sisal in a quad split like these ones that are down here hizo zenye ziko chini we use knife huwa tunatumia visu ma tuseme kisu ku split so that the work is easier so that it's easier kuiweka pale kwa machine wa ina kwa split just like that to make work easier because uweziweka kwa machine ikiwa hivyo whole the whole leaf it has to be split like that and then after being split huwa tunatumia kijiti kama hiyo alafu una roll hivyo kwa kijiti and then because you had split them unaweka tu moja moja hivyo kwa machine unafunga unavruta just like that and the process is repeated until the whole leaf is done and uh, we remain just with the the fiber the fiber from the sisal leaf And guys as we continue with this please 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 kindly subscribe to this channel click on just touch the red button the red subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell remember to subscribe for me and turn on the notification bell so that you join the family join my family guys so this is how we do it this is how we do it and now it is uh zile maganda zimetolewa and now we are remaining with the fiber as you can see it is uh ziko green ukiangalia zinakaa color green but uh for them to be white wa zikikauka zitakuwa white don't worry about the color what is done ni kwamba wa zinanyunyiziwa maji zinanyunyiziwa maji ama they are placed in water or water is sprinkled on them so that when they dry up they dry as white as snow ndio kamba ikitengenezwa inakuwa kamba safi so hizo ni kidogo just like that hivyo ndo vyenye inafanywa inawekwa kwa maji or you can choose to sprinkle water on them alafu from there zinawekwa kukauka zinanikwa zikauke ndio hizo hapo Alafu the reason why huwa zinafungwa like that is uh, ndio zisiharibike zisitapakae I don't know the English word so yes zimekauka and now the main process of uh, now kutengeneza kamba ndio hii sasa First of all what is done 
the fiber the sisal fiber is a split so that work is made easier ndio ukishuka hii kamba unachukua tu unawekelea wa unachukua unaweka wa na unaendelea kutengeneza so guys this is how uh, tunaanza this is how the process begins you twist like that and then you make sure that uh, one side the ile tip ya kamba yenye inakwanga the thin part ndio hiyo sasa inafikishwa juu alafu inafungwa just wait a minute i show you subscribe 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 kindly guys mimi nawapenda hadi nawaonyesha kutengeneza kamba ya kufunga ngombe na mni subscribe kwa wenye wame subscribe thank you so much so guys we are done with the the tip umeona venye imefungwa so we are continuing with this other side We are continuing with this other side. Hii ndio part yenye sasa. Hiyo kamba ita ni kutwist ama kufanya nini? Mimi naona ni kutwist juu hata nywele tukishuka hiyo style ya kufanya hivyo. Tunaona naona huwa ina huwa inaitwa twist. So, we are going to use the term twisting. So, tunai twist hivyo hadi ifike the length that you want if you the length that you want normally uh, kamba zitengenezwi zikiwa same sizes they are always of different sizes there are small ones for goats and sheep and uh, even ndamas the calves small cows and then there are big ones for for cows yes for cows and even bulls kwanza za bulls huwa zinatengenezwa zikiwa nono because yes guys so tunaendelea tu ku twist kamba yetu tukiendelea kupiga story pale as you can see tuko wengi hapa chini ya mti na story lazima ibambe story inabamba tukiendelea kufanya hii kazi There is something I forgot to tell you guys. Zile maganda za za sisal zile zenye zinatolewa kwa machine. Normally they are used to huku tunazitumia when burning charcoal. Tunapanga panga nini? Uh, tunapanga miti hizo za charcoal and then what we do is tunafunikia, tunatumia kufunika. So guys, we are done with the first nini hiyo part ya kwanza ya ku twist and then we are now doing the final twist in ya tatu zile zilikuwa mbili and now this is the third one just like that guys be keen and see how it is done hata si ngumu so this is the last layer of the twist alafu kamba yetu itakuwa ready in a few so guys it is almost done karibu tunamaliza ndio hiyo alafu tutakuwa na kamba yetu mzuri tutumie kufunga mifugo na zingine tupeleke kwa soko Tuzie watu tupate pesa ya chakula na ya unga na ya kila kitu. So this is the final thing. Don't worry about this uh, guy here. Uyu amekuwa kwa portion bill. That is the reason he is a white. Hakuna unga kwa mwili. So that is how it is uh, conjured. Inakunjwa hivyo, zinafungwa and then that is that.
So ukipenda unaweza tengeneza mingi unapeleka kwa soko. Here they go for they are sold at 30 shillings right now. Like this one is 30 shillings. Kenyan shillings 30 bob. So guys hizi zilikuwa zimetengenezwa these are around uh, 15 15 times 30 that is around 750 shillings na ndio hiyo umepata pesa so guys thank you so much for staying tuned thank you so much for watching this video to the end once again subscribe to my channel this is life with reni subscribe and don't forget to like the videos kama umebambika give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and tell me your views tell me what you think tell me if in your village do you also follow the same process to make a uh, sisal if at all mnatengeneza thank you so much guys see you in my next video